We have completed the covering and the coat and the equipment. And we are cleaning the uh, car at the moment. What we are doing now is the budget to be passed by the assembly. And then from there, we will get uh, some resources and purchase a little material. And we will have it immediately. Talk to me about the steps that are necessary for the conduct of this uh elections. In every election, registration is the first step. Are people registering right now? No, they are not starting yet. I just told you minutes ago that the budget is not going uh, for approval by the parliament. As soon as it is approved, we will uh, embark on voter registration. A lot of people in the country don't have yes. nationality ID or what you call ginsia. Some don't have passport. What kind of identification documents is going to be used to verify voters in case registration kicks off. We are going to use the manual registration. In the rural area, they will be identified by the chips or monitors. In the town, they will be easily identified. How is that going to affect the voting process? What if I'm identifying my relative wrongly and identify them ten times? No, no, you can't. There there are certain procedures to be applied. When you come to the voting center, you know, your finger will be marked. It will tell you something to move, to move you away. So you must come back to the voting station. Every right. field of study has got some discipline. And uh, the electoral process has got some discipline. You are dealing with a situation where majority of people in South Sudan don't have identification papers. And you're saying that you are going to use manual registration, fingerprints, and you're going to use chiefs to identify people, but that process is open to abuse. What do you think? Well, it is the, the, the stimulus and the best of what as far as South Sudanese are concerned. 80% of them are uneducated. So you can't even really apply this modern technology on them. Yes, it may work on a different time, but outside it cannot work. And let's talk about the timeline. You are left with three months for the process uh, to kickstart. Well, you see, uh, the election, election I say is Whenever he remains six months, the election date must be declared. We have done by December 22nd, 2024. And then the revitalized peace agreement, we will sign in 2018, says when he remains six days before the end transitional period, election must be conducted. And from that time, we will, we will conduct the election. And now, August is almost ending. We are left with September, October. November and December. That's four months. Looking at a country like South Sudan with logistical challenges, is it possible to conduct elections in four months? It is possible when we are serious and when we have resources at hand. We do that very easily. But now you are telling me that you're waiting for the budget to be passed by the parliament. How long does it take for that budget to be passed? I think we're not taking a number of days. We will, we will, we will, we will actually pass it. You sound more positive than the political parties that are going to take part in the process. It's on record that the, the SPLMIO is dismissing all the, the plans that are being made for the preparations of, for these elections. They have even not registered their party. What is the motivation behind your optimism? When the peace agreement was signed in 2018, it was said that the next will take place in 2022. And the, those two scientists, they were seeing the time was passing and they were watching it. And then when they reached the time of uh, amendment of the election act, they were seeing it also. They, passed. they participated in it and they passed the election calendar. Now, you be a Ukrainian person. There are people who have been in the court for the last 20 years. They want to come to power. How will they come? They will come on over the election. And you know in other countries, election can be done. Even the 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 you register the same you will vote. You vote in the country you want. So what is needed now is the concern of the political parties that we need to change. We need the rules to apply. We have gone now for twenty years. For the ordinary South Sudanese who are still doubting that given the timeline, given the challenges, given the remoteness of the country, it's not possible to do, carry any elections in South Sudan. What would you tell such people? You know, this is not the first time for South Sudan to win the election. Since 1965, until the independence of the South, South Sudan has been They have been voting for similar time, similar years. So they are the, 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 the challenges before us. 
can overcome if they are killed to vote. But the people who are supposed to vote don't uh, have much to offer at this time except waiting for you to show them the way. Well, uh, you see, there are two issues now. The way I think, in general, from the way the political party is okay to be the women, are thinking that we are being governed by two documents. The Mission Mission Commission Act saying we will remain six months before the end of the... So uh, the 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 the